One of the issues that we deal with a lot in our gym is tight hamstrings. Uh, tight hamstrings will limit you in a lot of the movements that we do in here, uh, but it's definitely something that can be solved. Uh, a lot of times the low back pain that you experience uh, during or after a workout or even just kind of day to day is a result of your hamstrings being real tight. Uh, we're going to use these kind of heavy duty elastic bands. Uh, you can find them lots of places online. Uh, and we're going to use these to do a, uh, a stretching method that we've seen a lot of really good results in. Uh, what I want to explain is that this is not a passive stretch where we're going to wrap this around our leg and just kind of yank. We're actually going to be working against the pull of the band uh, and it's almost going to feel like you're doing a little bit of a workout. Uh, so we're going to sit down and we're going to try this out. So I'm going to take uh, the end of the band here and I'm going to stick it right in the arch of my foot. I'm going to grab one side and loop it around and this is just so it doesn't slip off. From here I'm going to lay down onto the ground keep my knee locked out. Now what I'm going to try and do, like I said before, is work against the tension of the band. So I'm going to pull on the band just a little bit and try and find that stretch. And from here, I'm going to drive my heel towards the ground and kick 10 times. Yeah. At the 10th kick, I'm going to choke up on the band a little bit. I'm going to bend my knee just slightly. So I have some tension. I bend my knee and I'm going to drive my heel towards the ceiling about 10 or 15 times. The idea here is that I'm locking out at end range and my knee is straight. And when my knee is locked out, it, it feels like a stretch. It doesn't feel too comfortable. Once I've done that, keep your leg locked out wherever you can kind of position to keep the knee straight. I'm going to pull the band up towards my head. I'm going to feel that stretch in my hamstring and I'm going to drive my heel towards the ground. Now the goal is to really work against that stretch. I'm going to hold this for 10 seconds. After those 10 seconds, I'm going to loosen up on the band and I'm going to bring my knee into my chest. I'm going to try and keep my heel pointed towards the ceiling. I'll choke up on the band a little bit more. Now I'm gonna pull the band into my chest and drive my heel like I'm trying to straighten my leg. I'm gonna do this hold for 10 seconds as well. And you'll see, you'll start shaking pretty hard and that's common. And I'm feeling this stretch high in my hamstring. After those 10 seconds, I like to go back to that straight leg kick, finish off 10 times. And you might even notice that you've gained some range of motion just after that exercise. When we're done, we're gonna switch legs dude on the other side. Uh, I can almost guarantee that if you do this properly, you'll get up and you will feel a huge difference side to side. Doing this a few times a week before or after a workout, preferably when you're a little bit warm, uh, will, will do wonders for your hamstring flexibility.